Well, for just an hour every single week, fans get to tune in and zone out with a cast of characters on The Rick H Show. The 2020 Latin Podcast Award winner for comedy interviews is more than just a podcast, and the crew just knows how to deliver on any and every topic in sports, entertainment, arts, and so much more. Now in its 10th season, this fun crew continues to kill it in the game, and this morning we're joined by two of those crew members, mi primo favorito, Mr. Riquiero, and Luis Cres de Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Feliz lunes, mi amigos. Happy, Yo, happy Monday. Monday. Thank Feliz you. lunes. That, that was a hell of an intro you gave us. Oh, come on now. I know. Is, is that not you too? Hey, <laughs> it was just great hearing you say it. I never heard, I never been on the O list. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. This I'm, I'm oh. starstruck. Oh, stop. Lies you tell. See, now you're going to be me, primo favorito as well. But we'll Hold work on, on it. Second. But Hold see, on. see. Mucho gusto to you, Luis, or oh, Craze. You said I can call you Craze because I already met Rick. And the last time he was here, you guys had just finished celebrating 100 plus episodes of your podcast. And you've had mm -hmm. some pretty, pretty major names on the show. So is there someone that you're trying to get, like a dream guest or guests? Oh, uh, John Aguizamo. Ooh. And we're close. You're close? Yeah. Yeah, we're close. Uh, well, if, if, if that's not a dream guest, I do not know what is. What about you, Craze? And same. I'm going to go with the same answer. And we want him to know, live here on Pix11, that we went <laughs> and we watched um, his new movie. Uh -huh. Dark Blood, uh, which is really good. What was the name of the movie, H? Dark Blood. Dark Blood. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, we, we went to the premiere. So, John, we, we've been supporting you. We love you. <laughs> we all, really want he, you to he's, be on the he's show. a great guy. We've met, he's like a friend of our show. And if I didn't have a restraining order, I would have said I would reach out to him for you. But for your sake, I will let you guys do it because he's almost there. But your show, your award-winning podcast is always evolving. And I, and I love this week's episode. It's a very interesting topic because you talk about identifying as Latino, Latinx, and Hispanic and why people, yes. what people identify with and why. So explain, talk to us about that. Well, uh, a lot of older Latinos or Hispanics don't, gener uh, don't identify as Latinx. Uh, the term Latinx came about because our language is feminine and masculine. So we want it to be more inclusive to people who don't identify with any gender and are non-binary. So that's where the term Latinx came in. Um, Hispanics was the first term that was used. And the reason there's Hispanic Heritage Month, mm -hmm. which we're in the middle of right now, is because most of the South American countries like Mexico, I think Guatemala, all their Independence Day take place between September 15th and October 15th. So we're going to have a very heated discussion. We had it with uh, Manny Perez, the actor, and it was interesting to hear his point of view. But tomorrow, yes, that will be our term, our topic of discussion. All right. So um, we're also going to be hearing you guys at a panel for Hispanic Heritage Month. So what's the Uptown Connect panel all about? Because you guys are going to be paving the way. You're sending the elevator down to bring others up. In the, for the podcast, you know, future podcasters of the world. Yeah, and social media influencers. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to have Melanie Cruz, who's moderating the panel, and Rachel Strauss-Muñiz, who's been on Pix11 before from Latinos yes. Are Loud. Rachel has a wealth of knowledge in podcasting. So any future podcasters or social media influencers who want to come out and want to get, uh, like, the best advice you're gonna get because these yeah, people and an are inside, and an inside peek into, and an inside peek into what that industry looks like. You know, mm -hmm. like we, mm -hmm. we want people to come in and be able to connect with folks and listen to folks that come from places like we come from. A couple of these folks do come from uptown, and mm -hmm. um, Rachel and Yvonne, you know, they, they're uptown all the time. And so we wanted to kind of create an environment where people from uptown could feel like, yo, know, this could be us too. You know, how how do we get into it and maybe get some of those questions answered that they may have have about getting into this industry. Um, so we're really excited about it. Oh, we are too. And you guys have taken over the podcast world. Before we know it, it's going to be the TV, the movie, the documentary, all these worlds. So quickly tell us the website where we can get tickets and come join the panel, whether it's virtually or in person. Where can we go? The website is UptownLiveTV.com. That's for the panel. You can get your tickets there. Uh, Radell Ortiz, who was just on stage with Aventura this past weekend, Ooh. will be there as well. I forgot to mention him. So, yeah, on UptownLiveTV.com, you'll be able to get tickets. Come out to Angelica's Uptown, try some of the food, and uh, get some knowledge, get to network with some of these folks. 
We cannot wait. Rick, great to see you again. Craze, mucho great to gusto. See you again, Rick. Check them both out on the Rick Atrio podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google. You can subscribe to the show's YouTube channel as well to see them in living color. And of course, check out their panel tomorrow as well. Thank you guys. These fruit tattoo. Samana. Pray for us. We got six nominations on Saturday for the Latin Podcast Awards. You so. don't need my prayers. You guys are the best. <laughs> you guys are perfecto in whatever you do. But good luck, and I'll see you when, after you guys win it.